So everybody knows by now that Costco had these five pack tins for um, $30 in store. Um, but it wasn't the same case for online. Online was actually $40 for five the, um, the five pack or the five tins. And yeah, it was still a decent deal because it equals out to be $4 per pack. But people were waiting for this deal to go down to $30. And it finally did. And it sold out like instantly. So um, I grabbed two. And let's see what I can get from them. Squirtle! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful day today. It's Friday here, and I decided to just open these um, Costco tins, mainly because um, I haven't opened them for a while. I got good stuff from it before, and they had, like, at least the ones I opened from my previous videos when I got them for $15 at my local Costco. Um, gotten, like, a whole bunch of Astro Radiance and Brilliant Stars. I actually opened these as well. Um, and these actually had brilliant stars and um, evolving skies, um, and that's that's the main reason why I bought this. Mainly because I really wanted to open uh, some brilliant stars, but like I also want to try my luck again on evolving skies. And I always um, I didn't never I haven't really had like the best experience evolving skies, but um, I will open this and I will test my luck with just two. Now, I only grabbed two, mainly because I know um, this deal is a little too good, and if I were to buy more and not get anything good, <laughs> um, I probably would feel even worse. So, I think two would be a good way to test my luck on these. Oh, oh sorry, I, I kind of hit the camera. <laughs> Alright, sorry, back to my opening here, even though I mean, you guys already seen this before, so I'm just going to grab these real quick and open them. Okay, we have 10 Evolving Skies and 10 Brilliant Stars. And, um, I didn't think it actually sold instantly. Actually, now that I think about it, it might have sold out, like, a couple hours for the Galar Pals tins, which is the one with these both, both of these packs here. Um, the ones that kept on staying on, or the one that was still in stock were the Galar Powers and the Galar Stars, which the Galar Stars doesn't have Evolving Skies in it. It has um, Astro Radiance and Brilliant Stars. So um, I think right now that's currently still available online. Um, currently recording this on a Friday. So um, today is probably the last day for that sale to get those for $30 online. So we're gonna start with first Brilliant Stars here. All right. Um, I'm not going to do the card trick here, just because there's going to be a couple of packs, 20 packs to the open, so I kind of want to make sure um, I don't make this one time too long. <laughs> so we'll go on to our second Brilliant Stars. I'm going to save Evolving Skies for last because, you know, um, you either go big or get nothing from that pack there, so might as well test the waters there. So we have another cold card there. Oh, I keep... I keep instinctively trying to do that, so um, let's just keep going here. Corafish, Golette, Chimeco, Blunder Policy, Ooh. and a Golurk. So nothing there again, but we still got a few more packs. I mean, eight more packs here for Brilliant Stars. And the reason why I really like, okay, or I saw a white cold card, so we can still get something from the train alley. But the reason why I really wanted this one is because Brilliant Stars was in here, and I, there's still a lot of cards in here that I really want nope. from Brilliant Stars, so we got nothing there. Cold card. Um, so, yeah, so this is kind of like the perfect pack to, or perfect tin to get. I didn't, I don't really mind the Fusion Strike and the Evolving Skies, um, Galar Power as well. That one would be pretty cool to try and pull, like, the Gengar or, um, uh, who else is in that set, like, Celebi and stuff. But, um, I think I would prefer to pull on Brilliant Stars because it has Trainer Galleries as well. So, um, those are always fun to pull as well. So we got to Cafe Master, Skelet, Castform, Baltoy, Chimchar, Nosepass, Torterra, and, 
a non hauler <laughs> So I think I actually did the um, pack trick there. So I, I kind of like I said, I'm doing this instinctively. I think we got about like five more there. So this one seems like a really bad um, pack here because I kind of just stacked them on top. So this second one isn't really coming up with anything. So maybe the evolving skies might have something better. But uh, like we're, we're, let's go on to actually let's go on to um, some fusion. I mean strike evolving skies right now just because um, I put the second box tin or like my second box on top of the first one so this is still technically the second box that i opened there you go for the code card and let's see if we can get anything from evolving skies cutie fly typo bravery Spider, and Spider. oh cool look at that we got a gyarados v max awesome i don't think i pulled this card yet so um I'm Obviously, he's probably he's not really a good chase card for everyone because everyone always wants to go for the alternate art. But I don't think I got him, so I will probably sleep him here. Yeah, so that Gyarados V Max is my technically my first hit from him, Evolving Skies. So, um, starting off stronger for Evolving Skies on that second box that I opened. Um, the first box is on the bottom there. Um, probably can't see because my camera's in the way. <laughs> but let's. Get to opening the second pack for Evolving Skies. We got Hop It, Swab Blue, Sora, um, Crygono. I don't know if I could pronounce that right. Pedaly and Feebas. Stoutland as my non hollow rare. To the next pack. Yeah, I mean, like, these these Costco tins are kind of a hit or miss. Uh, I remember when I pulled. Um, I think I remember when I got these tins. I actually got um, the Mew alternate art from the Fusion Strike one. So that's my only time I actually got something good from Fusion Strike. <laughs> but we have Wufflet, Lotad, Emoga, Rubat, Glossifer, Shopping Center, Squirtle, Squirtle. and we got a Noivern V. I think I pulled him already, but he's cool to see. And still a hit from Evolving Skies. This is kind of weird because I'm actually getting more hits from Revolving Skies than Brilliant Stars at the moment. And I thought um, Brilliant Stars would be kind of the buffer to making this pack opening a little more worth it. But um, let's see if I can get anything else from the last pack from Revolving Skies from the second box. Alright. I was going to do a patch again, but we got Fobebe. Wa uh, Wagon, Wagon Rolla. Oh my god, I can't even read these guys right. Psyduck. Swablu. C dot, Poplitoad, and we got a Hollow Rare Moltres. Okay, cool. Um, I'll keep that for now, just because I feel like the Moltres is was it's pretty cool as well. Even though I think that's the same move set from um, the the Galarian Legendary Bird Tins that I got not too long ago. So it's cool to see the Hollow Rare version. Let's go on to the next. Brilliant Star set here. Maybe this Brilliant Star set will be better. <laughs> Even though it looks like Evolving Skies wasn't that bad either, considering that um, it's really hard to pull anything good from that one. So we got Shinx, Badoof, Electrobuzz, Halucha, Breezel. We got a Reverse Hollow Synthesis Ambition and a Non Hollow Rare. Double Energy. I'm going to keep that. But wow. Brilliant Star is really striking out today. So, hopefully something can come up um, in these next few packs because it's kind of looking bad for Brilliant Star. Oh, I got another white color card again. Wow. Um, wasn't supposed to see that. But uh, I'll probably check my color cards again after this just to see if it was all white color cards because it just feels like... Um, Wow, Brilliant Stars is just not doing really well right now. <laughs> Three more packs left, including this one. And I can't say much about Brilliant Stars right now. Um, not even one hit from the Brilliant Stars yet. I'm not going to look at the back there. And we got Clefairy, Shirubi, Sock, Corefish, oh, Golurk, Ormadam, and Zamas into V. Wow, I feel like I've been pulling Zamas into V often from either Brilliant Stars or um, Crown Zenith, so it's a hit, I guess. 
Two more packs from Brilliant Stars. Can we get anything else from here? Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, Brilliant Stars is one of those packs that has um, trainer galleries, and I have not seen one yet, so... Um, this shows how... Oh, did I... I don't know if I saw something there. I don't think so, but... We got Akshu, Magmar, Liaolu, Burmy, Staryu... Okay, we got a Reverse Hollow Glimpsnar, and... Electrovire Hollow Rare. I think that was just the V-Star card. <laughs> Darn. Alright, next one. Yeah, like I said, these Costco teams are ahead of this. Um, I did, just didn't think the Brilliant Stars was going to be the one that was the, doing the missing right now, and I kind of saw the code card there again. Uh, oh, man. Maybe two is a two boxes is kind of a, a small sample size. But let's see if I can get anything from the trainer gallery. We got Booz, Boozo, Weasel, Halucha, Mencino, and nothing from the trainer gallery. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, Brilliant Stars, you only got me as Amazenta V. I mean, I guess the double energy is nice, but let's see if Evolving Skies can save the day. Um, didn't think I would hear that from someone's mouth, right? We got a cold card there. And let's see if I can get anything here. Oh, let's see if I can focus first. We got Teddy Ursa, Mareep, Zara, Tentacool, Hoppip, Dweeble, and a non hollow rare again. Okay. We got like four more packs here. Let's see if we can get anything else besides what we have here let's see we got a cold card there let's see bergmite nickets sable eye applin cutie fly sq and we got sylveon v cool i think i got the sylveon v already i'm not too sure but um yeah i just don't remember pulling this one actually Definitely a sleeve, at least. This is pretty cool. We have Evolving Skies giving me some hits, while Brilliant Stars, um, not so much. <laughs> so this is kind of interesting what's going on right now. Um, maybe maybe because Evolving Skies actually likes me better than Brilliant Stars. So let's see. We got Wobbuffet, Hoppit, Swablu. I think I'm kind of showing a training card there, but I think that might just be a back card. Zara. We got it. Galarian Zapdos Ooh. and a non hollow Drampa. Alrighty. Lucky Pop. <laughs> I like using that card in CCG. So looks like we got three more packs here. Let's see what I can get. Hopefully, I can pull maybe the Moonbeon or the uh, Rayquaza. Who knows what I can pull from this, right? Do I see anything as a spoiler? I don't see anything, so maybe it might not be a hell. Oh, we got a low tad, lit Leo, Lagon, Lily Pup, C Dot, Lantern, and we got a Dialga from the promo from in front of Costco as well. So that's kind of interesting actually. <laughs> I'll just put it there. Two more packs. Can we pull anything great from Evolving Skies? I think the one alternate art that I actually did pull from Evolving Skies was the um, Dragonite V. Um, a lot of the cards that I, alternate arts that I actually pulled were actually offline, which is why I'm trying to make it a habit to pull for you guys on video because sometimes it's a lot more epic to pull it on videos. But it looks like I'm not going to be lucky today. So maybe it's time to put on those glasses. <laughs> I'm back, guys. Maybe I'll get something from this last one for Squirtle. Oh, I think he's just being trampled by another uh, yokai cat right now. But, um, let's see if I can get anything from the last Evolving Skies. I won't look in the back either because I like to, I like to be surprised here. Code card for you guys. And let's see if we can get Dweeble, Hippopotamus. Zora, Psyduck, Rufflet, Braviary, and let's see if I can get anything here. Squirtle, squirtle. Oh, we got Leafeon V. <laughs> I mean, it's not the hit that I really wanted, but um, it was pretty fun pulling again for Evolving Skies. It was kind of like that, you know, um, 
high reward, high risk, and if you're not gonna get anything, uh, if you get something, you might not get something that's worth it. But you had that off chance of either pulling its alternate art or something like that. There you go. So most of these are actually from Evolving Skies. We got a Gyarados VMAX, Noivern V from the first box, and then we got these three from um, from the first box or the second. Yeah, it's really weird that I set the second box because the second box was on top, which ended up being the first set that I pulled. <laughs> but then I, I'm just going to call this the first box and this is the second box. And um, yeah, so like I said, these boxes are hit or miss. You, you never know if you're going to pull something rare or not. Two might be a bit of a small sample size to know if you can get anything good from these. But from my experience, um, I had to get like super lucky to even like get anything good hopefully you guys enjoyed my pulls um give me a like and subscribe if you guys like my content and i hope you guys have better pulls than i do so um peace out check you guys later yeah not my best pulls but if you guys want to see some better pulls that i had um maybe check out that video or that one um definitely probably better than today so um see ya <laughs>